Hey guys, it is Wednesday, March 29th. It is 9.51 p.m. and a few days ago I dropped my butter bronzer, super upset, kind of want to kill myself. And it didn't break, it just kind of came out of the pan and now it's broken. So I think I'm going to repress it. I've never repressed something before, so I just mash it, I'm pretty sure. This is kind of satisfying. Like as much as it kind of pains me to do this. Oh my god, it's ooh, this feels ooh, this feels wrong. <laughs> At this point, like it's gonna be fucked up either way. So if I fuck it up while I'm doing the rubbing alcohol process, it was gonna be fucked up this way too. It's not like it was like my chocolate soleil. I mean, it was relatively expensive. You live and you learn, and I learned to be more careful. Okay, so I think that I fixed her. This is what she looks like. She's a little janky, but honestly, I don't really know how to smooth her out. Everybody always uses like circular things but I don't know whenever I try it just doesn't work out so I just labeled all of my notebooks and I kind of love it these this is my Spanish notebooks I warm up lessons I've already made my mark nobody cares why am I telling you this I wrote about the conditional tense <laughs> I did this all from memory, aren't I so cool? Now we know, so we know the, so we know the preterite, we know the imperfect, we know the present, we know the future simple, we know the normal future, we know the like, I don't know what it's called, but it's like have done something. We know the imperfect sub subjunctive, we know the conditional, and by have something I mean like we have talked. So it'd be like hemos hablado, like that kind of thing. If you speak Spanish, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> if you don't speak Spanish, you don't know what I'm saying. I'm saying but yeah so i have spanish so i'm charging my camera and my computer and then i'm gonna go outside and i'm gonna do a workout because lord knows i need it and i'm gonna film it because even though you guys only like beauty videos i want to incorporate more like lifestyle stuff ju not just makeup like i want to show you guys my life but right now i'm just staring at this jeffree star highlighter i was wearing it today it kind of faded off <sighs> a minute breath from walking up the stairs but um somebody like insulted me they were like what is on your cheeks and i'm like I just filmed my exercise video, so pardon if I'm like breathing heavily, but I just got my Amazon package. I ordered two more by Allegory containers. I ordered this acrylic compact one, and then I ordered a palette organizer. Let me open these, and I will be right back. Okay, so this is what they look like. These ones are pretty cool. This is a palette organizer because these come out, so if you have thicker palettes, you can put them in here. And then this is what the compact organizer looks like. It's just normal. So the compact organizer is going in my highlighting drawer. And it's going to go right there. So let me put that in. That feel when you literally have too many highlighters that you don't know what to do. Like, okay, so here's what the organizer looks like. Yeah. But I kind of just want to, like, rearrange it. Because now I need a place to put my Jeffree Star highlighter in this. And, like, I kind of like keeping all these together. And these are my, like, larger highlighters. But I don't know where to put my glow kits. Because they don't fit here. Like, they almost fit. But they don't, you know. Maybe I should just kill myself. Yeah. But, yeah, I can't tell if this is better or worse. Like, um... I don't know, I turn these around and I like put these here and I put these here, but regardless of what position it's in, <laughs> these just don't go anywhere. So maybe I'll just make like a whole face palette drawer, maybe. That feel when you have too many highlighters that they just won't fit in a drawer. And I don't want to shove them back here because then I will never use them. Like if something is back there, it's never going to be touched. Like that's the reason why I never go for my drugstore palettes because they're all so far back and I had to move my eyebrow stuff up front because they were back here and I couldn't get to them. This is what the palette drawer looks like. I took out one of the dividers. I can fit three of the uh, chocolate bars in like two sections. So I squeeze them all together. I put the sweet peach here and the modern renaissance. I put two of the Lorac here and then I put the naked three, two, and one right there. So I put the last little plastic thing right there in case I ever need it and I have this Kylie Sweet Peach palette. I just have so many other palettes and I know that I'm not going to use them if I put them back here so I need to figure out what I'm going to do with them. I might do a second palette drawer. Yeah these are like my larger palettes and then I can do smaller palettes. Oh my god I'm crazy. Goals. Okay this is going to be my overthrow palette drawer. Goals. So here's my first palette drawer. It looks like this. Kind of trash. I'm probably going to organize these better. Then this is my second palette drawer. So I have all the ones I just mentioned, and then I also added the Morphe Kathleen Lights palette. I don't know, it just looks kind of empty. I'm gonna figure it out. <sighs> it just looks so plain. I don't know, it just doesn't seem right. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to die. I'm just so... 
Do you ever just want to kill yourself? Wow, I really just want to kill myself because I have so much fucking makeup. I don't even know what to do with it. Mm-hmm. First world problems? I think so. I think it would be like a middle class problem. Help, I have so much makeup, but I can't afford new drawers. That's like a middle class problem. I love coming up with those. It has to be something like really right in the middle. It's like, I just bought a new Tommy Hilfiger wallet, but I have no money. <laughs> like that. Gang, gang. So I decided to put all these back in their original sections, and now it looks fuller. I mean, I'm keeping all of these together just because they fit really perfectly in just two. So I think that works out. I'll, of course, keeping these two together, and then all of these are separated. And I think that it just looks full. Like, I can just open and be like, hey, this is my favorite palette drawer, whatever. And then this one, I don't know. This is my current situation, and I'm honestly probably going to keep it like this. Because, like, I can find everything I want. I need to do a tutorial on this, but I don't think I'm going to do one today. I'm so tired. That doesn't solve where I'm going to put all my face things. Because I do have five face palettes. It's not enough to fill a drawer. And I don't want to put them in with this, because then they would end up going in the back. And, you know, I don't use the back. Yeah, when I open this, I'm just not, I'm kind of un underwhelmed. So, I think I need to fix it up. Okay, so I figured it out. Um, I have all my palettes here. And then I have my kind of smaller palettes and my Kylie highlighter. I have this Makeup Revolution, like, baked highlighter that's in this like little kind of container and then i have my jeffree star highlighters i have my jeffree star highlighters and my two wet and wild and then i have all my small ones and then my liquids so and then these are like my not as high favorites and then these are my favorites except for this highlighters so yeah i think it all works out and yeah, yeah that's my highlighting drawer this is my palette drawer i'm gonna make this the thumbnail so so, um, I'm just gonna sit in my bathroom to say this really fast. It's like 11 or something. And I have this video going up. That's my workout routine. And I was like really proud of it. I was like so happy. And then I was looking at all the comments on all of my other videos that didn't have any words in them. And it was just a bunch of people saying how they always look forward to my videos after school and how they want like longer talk throughs. And I just feel so bad. Like I want, if I could, I would do talk through videos every day, but then I would have to film six in one day because I film like two videos every day it's like really hard to put up content every day and i don't mind doing it it's something that i'm fine with it's something that i enjoy i get excited when a video goes up i like seeing a new addition to my channel i like making thumbnails i like editing it thing is i just want to make you guys happy but at the same time i need it to be sustainable for me because when you think about it like i am literally just like you i'm literally a normal person i just put out content on the internet and this content isn't even quality let's be real so just imagine if like on top of all of your schoolwork you had to do a video every day and not only do I have schoolwork like normal like school basically my school is the equivalent to taking like double honors like it's like more than honors but it's basically honors everything so much homework I have a 10 page essay due on Tuesday I have an engineering project where I'm testing for bacteria I am doing a computer science project where I'm trying to program lights to light up by themselves and spell out a message. I have a lot more to do than you guys think and I want to make you all happy and whenever you guys say like how much you look forward to watching my videos it makes me smile but then a heart part of my heart breaks when I know when I post a video and a part of me tells me lots of people aren't gonna be happy when they see this they're gonna get out of school they're gonna be like oh my god Annika posted oh it was a workout routine. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is March 31st. I just filmed a tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right here. But my camera died before I could do an outro and film a thumbnail. Like right when I was putting on lipstick. So I'm charging my camera and I'm going to put away some makeup. I don't know if you guys wanted to see that. But I enjoy watching people put away their makeup. I don't know why. I like what I, I enjoy watching people organize their makeup. But yeah, I use the Kylie Lip Kit in the shade Dolce K. I haven't used this in so long. I love the way this the, that this looks. I think it's so beautiful. But my favorite one is Candy K. Like, this one doesn't even amount to how much I love Candy K. But I keep all my lipsticks in the back here, and you guys know how I feel about keeping things at the back. My incentive to use them is so strong that it, like, keeps me reaching back there, so. Oh, fuck. I just put it away without putting away the lip liner. Fuck me in the asshole. So, how was your guys' day? Mine was pretty uneventful because, like, as I said in my last video, the cut crease one, 
like everybody was is at a model UN conference in New York so everybody's gone so it's just like 10 kids in my class like literally 10 there are 19 kids usually and so like all the classes joined together so we had like three straight periods of science which we're doing STEM, we're doing a, well we call it STEAM because we include arts, but we're basically, we're doing like three periods of STEAM, and I have STEAM project, and crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, this is what I use when I want to film a makeup tutorial. Like I have my tripod and everything, but like when I want to film something on my makeup table, I use a stack of candles because I'm trash. <laughs> yeah, so it's sat, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Saturday, April 1st at 10.33 a.m. I woke up. My carpal tunnel is awful. I have carpal tunnel. I don't know if you guys know. It's like a reoccurring thing. It's basically from texting too much. And so I just, I just edited a video and my thumb hurts so much. And so does this one. So like it hurts. But anyways, I just wanted to say, I know I don't give shout outs on my, um, in my vlogs anymore. But the thing is, this is just the most amazing thing ever. Somebody made a fan page for me. Somebody made a fan page for me. I'm literally the only follower. Like, so everybody go follow her right now. <laughs> she made a fan page and it wasn't even me. I didn't even make a fan page for myself. This was made by someone else. I love it. I love it. And she's going to do like facts, I guess. I'm not sure. But she did like fact one. I love it. Oh my god. I'm obsessed. Everybody please follow her. It would mean the world to me. <laughs> I just I fucking love her. Whoever you are, I love you. Why am I so good at vlogging? Right now, I'm lying in bed. I just got Starbucks and went to CVS. I saw the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I was like, okay, I should buy it. And then I didn't buy it because it was $10 and motherfucking 50 cents. Like, bitch. So I didn't buy it. Halfling Light says it's really good and I want it. I just got the Urban Decay D Slick setting spray. I really, really like it. 10 10 would fucking bang. So I'm going to go to the gym with my dad at 4. It's three, It's 2.59 right now. I haven't burped in my past few videos and I apologize. <gasps> I'm such a failure. I was just vlogging for a straight three minutes with no memory card in my camera. But guys, oh my god. So, this has made my day. Okay, so someone said, someone said to me, Sweetheart is my favorite color in that palette. And then someone else said, Oh, you're so sweet. This is a pretty sweet vid. Sweet video. I fucking love you so much. This is so fun. I just saw this comment. Am I getting this right? You're 14 and you're swearing? Let me give you one sec. Just roasted the absolute fuck out of this girl. So she said, am I getting this right? You're 14 and you're swearing. I said, am I getting this right? You're hating on me and you're using the wrong form of your like. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, right now I'm responding to comments. If this would focus, whatever. I'm responding to comments and yep. So I ordered Sasha's present like on Thursday and it's Saturday and it's already here. Like cool. Okay. You ship so fucking fast. Ugh. It's moist. But honestly, I'm kind of upset because I'm going to have to open this and I bought her a palette that I've wanted forever. So I'm going to open this and I'm going to be so salty. And I'm going to like, I'm going to take it out of the box. I'm not going to swatch it out of like its original packaging box. I'm not going to swatch it because like that's trash, but I want to open it and admire it. I'm kind of salty. Oh my god, speaking of Ulta, I need to order. So the Mario Badescu stuff is on sale today. I'm sorry, when I post this, it's not going to be on sale, but it is on sale today, April 1st. I pulled such a good prank on my brother. I went up to him and I'm like, August, I would love it if you stayed alive. And then I said, April Fool's. <laughs> so I got her perfume samples because those are the best ones. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so fucking salty. This is a lot of ingredients. <laughs> this is all ingredients. Okay, this packaging is 10 out of 10. It's like mad heavy. Like, cool. I feel bad opening it, but like, I'm not gonna touch the eyeshadows. It's chill. <laughs> I kept the box intact. Like, she's not gonna know. She she doesn't watch my videos. I just fucking nut. I think I might have ruined the palette because I just nut all over it. <laughs> uh, I'm so jealous. Whatever. I'm gonna try not to be salty as fuck. But so yeah, I'm gonna like wrap up the box later, but that was my little story time. <laughs> also, I just wanted to let you guys know, um, I really do want to go check my P.O. box and see if there's anything in it. So comment down below if you've sent anything, because it's like kind of an hour away from my house, and I don't want to have to drive all the way. I guess it's like not that long. An hour isn't that long, but I don't want to have to drive all the way out there just for like nothing to be there. So if you haven't sent anything and you want to send, send something, I think I'm planning on visiting it maybe on like April 15th. <coughs> 
something like that. I don't know. The address is 131 Daniel Webster Highway, number 507, and it's Nashua, New Hampshire, 03060. I'll have it on the screen right here, and it's in the description of all of my videos. So yeah, if you want to send something, I suggest sending it ASAP. But right now, I'm just like kind of chilling. So today is April 1st, as I mentioned. A Cosmetics Your Skin But Better powder is on sale. Myra Badescu, the whole brand is on sale, and the Too Faced Mascara Melt Off is on sale. I'm gonna shop at the Myra Badescu stuff. It's not like that big of a sale. It's only 25% off, but I want it, so I might as well just buy it now. Should I get the four ounces? Yeah, and there's no way that I'm ever gonna use up the whole thing. So I'm gonna get the four ounce of the rose one, and then, of course, gonna get the cucumber one, because I've heard that people like this one better. I kind of want to get the drying lotion, but it is very, very expensive. Also, why is the plastic bottle and the glass bottle the same price? I feel like the glass bottle should be more expensive, but it's not. Um, I'm just double checking to make sure that there's nothing that I want. Wait, oh fuck, I can't pay with PayPal. I hate not being able to pay with PayPal. I used to just pay with my mom's account. My mom has a PayPal account, but now I have a debit card, so I have to pay with my debit. Great, awesome, awesome, fucking awesome, love it. Fuck, so excited, yay, awesome goals. Fuck, <laughs> can't find my, okay. <sighs> I thought I lost my credit card, but I didn't. You wish I did, you wish I did. Also, can I just say that the fact that you like your ulta points transfer to money is sick like sephora needs to get on this level i mean i'm not going to spend any of them right now because i want to save them for i know i look really gross i want to save them for my brow because i want to get a free brow girl but i think it's so fucking dope that you, like your points just go directly into money like i think that's better than having rewards that like you kind of don't even want i don't know okay ebates is kind of sick i gotta say like everybody always talks about this but this is pretty dope so basically you get money back i installed this little thing at the top basically i know i'm ratchet so my like main thing is firefox because like chrome always fucks up my computer so i just deleted chrome and i use firefox um but i have it works on chrome too i have this little plugin called ebate so it notifies me every time i can get every time there's a website that is applicable for ebates so it will like light up and then i can click on it and then it like takes me to that website through ebates and then i get money back for my transaction transaction so for ulta it's typically three percent back and sephora typically four percent back however they have days where it's like double cash back whatever i don't know and then they send you a check in the mail with all your money isn't that so fucking cool i think that's sick like i'm actually really happy i'm gonna definitely start using this oh my god goals yeah that's awesome i'm so happy but what kind of sucks okay so purchases so it has this little chart which is like purchases posted between april 1st and june 31st will be sent on august 15th like that is a why that is two months after that is like april may june july august that's five months from now that's like literally almost half of a year from now okay <laughs> that's goals <laughs> that's kind of annoying but i mean it's still cool that you can make money like your shopping habit will pay off uh i really want the rimmel wake me up concealer but i don't think they sell it in america i haven't they don't sell rimmel at cvs they, ha they, don't, they don't sell it at target it's not at ulta maybe i should just kill myself i cry every time i look really cute but i'm gonna end this vlog right here right now if you guys want a tutorial on this i look oh, okay so yeah bye